Looking back over the last 10 years, we're so proud to be able to share some of the achievements we've had as a team, some of the lessons we've learned, and then some of the considerations we think about in the next 10 years. Today, mobile reaches more than 5 billion people, which is an amazing platform, and we should leverage that to make sure we reach the underserved with these great life-enhancing services. So what is M4D? Well, at the end of the day, we're a team of people who believe that digital innovations can tackle inequalities in our world. I think all of us in M4D are frustrated with the level of inequality, and we're ambitious that digital innovations can tackle some of these inequalities and make sure that people get the solutions that they need. M4D has 10 different programs now, which is an amazing breath and opportunity to see the different ways digital technologies are having a phenomenal impact in people's lives. We have projects in more than 45 countries where we're actively working with mobile operators, innovators, non-for-profits, civil society to drive action and unearth new innovations. We're always looking for new insights, new data, which might inform us to take stronger actions. A great example of this is Connected Women, which was the first team to size the gender gap and highlight to the community that there was a challenge in digital access for women. Another great example is our mobile money team, which every year launches the State of the Industry Report, a much awaited for report, which is packed full of insights and gives an overview on the mobile money sector. Our work on uh, agri has impacted farmers in the sense that their yield has diversified, their yield has gone up, their income has gone up. Another really important program is our work on digital identity, where we look at the ways the mobile phone and digital tools can be used to deliver services that might enhance the lives of the underserved. The result of all of this has been that we've been able to impact more than 58 million people's lives over the last decade, which is a number that we are all immensely proud of. We've also made direct contributions to all 17 of the Sustainable Development Goals. We always look for sustainability in our solutions because we know that when you have an underlying sustainable model, you crowd in and attract more funding, which helps your solutions move towards scale. DFID and ourselves together invested more than nine million pounds in a number of startups doing energy, water, and sanitation. After that, we saw those same startups go out and able to raise a further 220 million pounds of investment. So that shows that the seed funding really is able to catalyze much more. None of this work would have been possible without the great support we've had from our donors, for which we are incredibly thankful. But sadly, when we look across donors today, we see that only about half the donors even have digital strategies. This is something that we really hope will change in the future, because the opportunity for impact is significant. So where are we heading from here? Well, over the last 18 months, we've been able to ramp up two really important areas. One is our work on humanitarian response, where we've looked at innovations which improve the effectiveness of humanitarian solutions, as well as increase the dignity of those solutions. The second area we've been able to grow is our work on assistive technologies, which are supporting people who are living with visible and invisible disabilities. This year, we have two further initiatives which are ramping up. Our first is on climate and clean tech, especially focusing on the needs of the underserved. And our second is looking at people who are being digitally excluded in high GDP markets, where we know that inequality is on the rise. The other area that I would say we're really keeping in mind now is that as we have more frontier technologies coming in, AI in particular, to ensure there's no unintended or negative consequences for the lives of the poor. We've seen these amazing effects. We've seen 58 million people's lives reached, which we think is phenomenal. But we know the opportunity is much bigger. And we do hope that donors will continue to invest and take those risks on digital solutions for impact.